Welcome to the Big Ten ACC Challenge presented by Continental Tire and ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. And tonight from the KFC Yum Center in downtown Louisville, we tip off a terrific evening of college basketball. Brand new number one Louisville facing suddenly number four Michigan. You would not be shocked to see all of tonight's teams in the final four with Duke Michigan State to follow. Dave O'Brien along with the Hall of Famer Dickie V and Chris Button. We take a look at tonight's Sonic Blockbuster. And Dickie, these two are incredibly similar. I'll tell you what, you talk about similarity. They both shoot the ball well, mature, multiple weapons. They're very deep. The free ball is going to be big tonight. Both clubs shoot in a 40 percentile. Both teams are ranked in the top six in the nation in field goal percentage. They really do a great job defending. And I'll tell you one thing, it's going to be one special matchup. Interesting to see how different both coaches feel about these rankings. Jawan Howard embracing Michigan's meteoric rise. Chris Mack appreciative. But even though Louisville is number one, he's kind of pumping the brakes ever so slightly. Well, you know, you look at Juwan Howard. I was out there in the Bahamas. What an incredible job he did. Duke Shambi and I were amazed. I think for right now, early in the season, one of the best achievements I saw. In 52 hours, beat Iowa State, beat North Carolina, beat Gonzaga. You talk about Chris Mack. He's done an amazing job here, rejuvenating. Came in at a very controversial time. But the big question is, how really good is Louisville. They haven't played the quality of competition that Michigan has faced. Ready for the tip of our Sonic blockbuster. Both teams 7-0. Michigan wins the opening tip and we are underway. About 20,000 on hand. This place can really get noisy. Yeah, it can. I think the key in the game, though, is going to be for Louisville to get a good start to keep the crowd alive. On the other side, Michigan wants to quiet the crowd. They execute so well, so efficient, with so many different weapons. Wonder about tonight, will this be a role players kind of ball game in the end? First shot in the year will not drop by Eli Brooks. They were with the rebound. What a year he's had to start the season. Made a smart decision coming back to school. Now, War the number one target offensively, 22.7 rebounds a game. He can stick the three and the two, and his first one is off the mark. Also watch when you look at Louisville, Ryan McMahon's ability to shoot the long-range jumper, shooting 50% from the three-point line. Sits in the point guard, trying to hook that one up there off the back of the iron and yanked down by the Cardinals, who have four fifth-year seniors on this roster. That one's stolen away, and a nice defensive play by Teske. Teske played the passing lane really well. One of the most improved big guys I've seen. He could stretch the D, shoot the three. Big sleep, they call him. <laughs> He'll miss that one too strong at 7-1, 265. He was the MVP out there in the Bahamas. Had a great game against Gonzaga in the last game. Shut down Petrusov, their good inside player. Home the four for 16. Enoch in and out from three-point land. Rebound controlled by the Wolverines. Enoch could be a key player trying to neutralize the ability of Teske. They got right now, they got Sutton playing. You mentioned it. Like Louisville, Michigan has been shooting the lights on number three nationally. Shot clock down to 12. On the move, Livers, he's been their top scorer. That's a tough angle, and it'll roll off the iron. You talk about multi-talented Livers, he can score in many ways. Score from distance, he can score on the attack with the ball, attacking the rim. Knocked down by Darius Perry, the point guard. He's only averaging about seven per game and six assists. He can really dish it. Yeah, they really want him to stop Simpson. Simpson leads the nation in assists. They don't want Simpson to get into that lane. That's right, Simpson with 10 and on the block by Sutton to trigger the break here for the Cardinals. Sutton's a warrior, man. He's a guy that's a warrior. They're really playing up on McMahon. It's going to be tough for him to get free for shots. Or it gives off for Sutton. Can't drain that one from long distance. Sutton and Warren, that great starts to the season. What a tandem they are. Simpson will swing that pass. Deliveries. Now the seven-footer to back it down in close with a left hand nicely done. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Jawan Howard's done an amazing job getting Teske to learn how to play down in the box. He really has done an amazing job working with him. And don't forget the job Job Beeline did with these kids, especially Simpson, Teske, and Livers. I mean, he's done a phenomenal job in his tenure here now with the Cavaliers. Juwan Howard taking over, of course, as the head coach. But a look at Darius Perry, the junior from Marietta, 
Georgia. Look at those eyes on target with that one. Yeah, he really had great focus right there. Played really well the last game defensively when they beat Western Kentucky. It was a good Western Kentucky team, but they held him one for 17, shooting threes. Western Kentucky's got a big player that's really outstanding. NBA people like him. Kenny Bassey. Warren. Let's fly. And he'll knock that one down. He is versatile. He really is. He's going to be a candidate by the end of the year for player of the year. He's going to be right there in the hunt. Preseason All-American. He has certainly played like one. Teske in close, but no. He fights for the rebound. Tried to knock it free, but McMahon comes out of there with it. Ryan McMahon, got, who's been the Hill's best shooter. They're going to try to get some shots for him. He's going to get some separation. Kick out for him on cue, but it's in and out. He's right there. Off the fake, back up top for Simpson. Simpson so cerebral, has a great understanding of the game. Always knows where people are on the floor. Oh, they did a great job, though. They kept him out of the lane. They beat him to the spot, and that's one of their goals. We don't want Simpson to get into the lane. Keep him out of the lane. He's dangerous when he's there. Oh, number one against number four. Call your friends up. Join us. Welcome back to the Yum Center. Michigan's meteoric rise from unranked to number four has been a big testament to Juwan Howard's relationship with his team. The players told me that he's like a big kid out there at practice. He's dancing, listening to music, having a lot of fun. But when it's game time, it's time to focus. I talked to Xavier Simpson today, and he said, listen, he's been in our shoes, so there was an immediate connection and respect. He also runs the, play the team, guys, like a pro system. He lets them have off days. He lets them have control over their schedule, which if you're a player, that's exactly what you're looking for when to go to the next level. Very relaxed, Chris, but also incredibly detail-oriented. Yeah, he really is. He's a master communicator, one of the greatest gifts to have, whether you be a corporate leader, whether you be in law, medicine. You're going to be a leader, you've got to step up, and he does that. He does it exceptionally well and did a great job hiring an outstanding staff from Martelli and Eisley and Company. Enoch will misfire there. Which was the oldest great shooting, the 3 for 14. Right. Right now, That's both correct. Yep. It's Mich been Greek City. Michigan had missed their first five, Dick. One for seven. Looking for a hot hand. Livers can't hit. And Sutton with a rebound. Sutton can really rebound. He and Warren on the glass. And we'll have a lot of size when you're thinking about 6'10s and 11s. But those guys are active. And those in the right position. Warren trying to slither inside. And he'll take the hit. As he's fouled on the play. Low scoring early on. Louisville on top 42. Dave O'Brien and Dickie, be great to be with you. Well, great to be back with you, buddy. Yes, sir. I tell you, it's really super to sit next to you. What a game we have. What a night for college basketball lovers. Following us, you got Duke. You got unbelievable Michigan State. That's Izzo, Coach K. We got Dan Schulman, Jay Billis, Allison Williams on that call. What an incredible night of basketball for people that love basketball. I feel like a little kid here. I really do. I'm, I may be 80 years old, man, but I'm telling you all day, I tell my wife, I feel like I'm going to meet Santa Claus. I mean, can we get paid sitting at courtside for something like this? 80 years old. Have you been naughty or nice, Dickie? I've, I've been nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Been very nice. Santa Claus going to be good to me. Or uh, with the miss there. Both See, sides are chilly. Here's the key right now. Simpson with the ball leads the nation in assist. Getting a nine per game. So far they've done a great job in allowing him to have any penetration at all. Wagner at 6-9. Up to Brooks. Shot clock down to 11. Livers at 6-7. The junior trying to negotiate inside a paint on a tough drive. Won't fall. Teske will take a hit on the play there. 14 55 to go here in the first half. And the foul will go on Kimball. Let's go to Chris. Chris Mack told us today this was the biggest key for them in defending Michigan as they don't want Xavier Simpson to be the maestro of this team and be able to just do what he wants. Hey, one thing, Chris, that's a great analysis, no doubt about it. You know, Simpson, though, broke the heart of Chris Mack. He doesn't want him to break his heart the second time. He broke his heart because he thought he had him locked. He thought he had him locked for Xavier when he was coaching at Xavier. And at the last second, he decided he was going to wear a Wolverine uniform. So he crushed him one time, and he crushed him again. That is not only right of the ship at Louisville, he's returned the Cardinals to the elite. Warrell with a pull-up jumper. That shot. Didn't touch that, anything. He was really challenged on that shot. McMahon got bottled up in the corner. 
And both teams really off target for two great shooting teams, at least early on in the season. Williams tried to tip it out. And it will go the other way, back over to the Wolverines. Neither club shooting the ball well. I think they should be too quickly. Not enough patience. A little more ball movement out there. A little more player movement. A little too much stationary out there. You know, feeling all the, they've been reading about this. A little nervous to start the game. I think Livers, I think Livers, Livers going to be an NBA player. No doubt in my mind. Teske way downtown, but no. One and done. Patience. They're not enough patience right now. They had more patience down there in the Bahamas. Sharing the ball, moving the ball. Great fake there by McMahon. A little leaner. Can't hit it. Struggling shooting right now. He's been great all year. Yeah, and absolutely nothing falling for Michigan or the Cardinals. And a sloppy pass picked off by McMahon. On the run. Wara with the tremendous play. On the reverse to stick that one. Yeah, good break right there. Good transition. Good body control. The man with the good pass. And the crowd wakes up. Here comes the whiteout. It's a whiteout in Louisville. Tesco is in contact. Nice touch. I really like him. I'll tell you, over he has become such a solid player on the inside. He can step out and make the three. He's got that size as well that really negates a lot of basketball in terms of shots on the interior. Indeed, 7'1", 265 pounds. He's also their best shot blocker. Suck trying to negotiate lots of traffic. That won't drop for him. Kimball on the floor right now. Played at St. Joe's for three years under Phil Martelli. Phil Martelli loves him, says he's a very cerebral player. Really focusing on a big fella. That rolls off the rim. Got a great move right there. Good drop step with the left hand. He is the Big Ten Player of the Week after what he did in the Bahamas. 12.39 to go here in the first half. Now here comes Warren, transition. Okay, good body control, goes to the left hand. Reverse layup, and down low, a little post play in the inside. A little turn, a little jump hook. Oh, you'd be rallying like that. You'd be not teaching those big man moves. What a teacher he is. He'll take a seat. Foul on Simpson was his first. Perry, the point guard. Junior from Marietta, Georgia. Pulls up and pops. Another one that will misfire. You know, what we heard about how great these teams shoot the ball through the tops. Oh, you don't want to get in that lane. Gotta stay in front of them. They like it over the top of those screens. Come out strong in the head. On the ball screen. Out off of the Louisville Cardinals. Last time the Ville was number one in the poll, it was January of 2013, and they would go on to win the national championship. Of course, Rick Pitino's team, it's vacated. Bottom line is they won it. They can't take that away. Tonight, they're going to honor three of the MVPs of the three national championship teams. Livers off the inbounds. Got a very good look. Brooks trying to use the screen. Knocked away. Tough defense. Shot clock at 11. Yeah, both clubs really getting after the defense away. The coaches really reached them. They were a good steal. Stolen away by Kimball. And a foul on the play by Livers. Knocking Sutton to the deck. He'll pick up his first foul. Sutton's a tough kid, man. He's a warrior. He is tough. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball presented by Continental Tire for what you do, and in part by Taco Bell's Roll Chicken Tacos Party Packs. Well, Dickey, I suppose there'd be many reasons for the woeful shooting at this point. These two clubs combined to go 5 for 26. I mean, that's 19%. Pretty good at math, huh? Yeah, right on the line. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to be a math teacher in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. I'm only kidding. They gave me that stat. But let, but let me tell you this right now. A lot of jitters out there. The emotion, tension. They read about number one. It's the third time Louisville has ever been number one. As you said earlier, 2013 was the last time. Prior to that, 2009. And you got a scenario here where Michigan on the road, so much publicity, notoriety after winning the battle for Atlantis. A terrific tournament, tournament in a terrific environment. I mean, Mr. Friedler right now, if there's one edge Louisville has versus Michigan, Louisville's 44 in the nation in shooting free throws. 
Michigan's in the 200s. So if the game is close at the end and the free throw line becomes big, that could be an edge for Louisville. Yeah, indeed. Cardinals with two guys who hit 90%. And Sutton just went over two, and he hit 74%. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You can't find anything to go down. We come on the air talking about maybe these are two Final Four teams. Some, some fans at home are going, I hope not. Not the way they're shooting the ball right now. They're no great teams this year. It's a lot of good teams, no great teams. That's going to be a traveling violation on Wagner. The talented freshman who played pro ball in Germany. Well, coming up next on ESPN and the ESPN app at 9.30, the 21st annual Big Ten ACC Challenge rolls on. Trey Jones, the number 10 Duke, taking on Cassius Winston and number 11 Michigan State from the Breslin Center in East Lansing. Those are two really outstanding point guards. Trey Jones, certainly catalyst. And you take a look. Oh, good foul right there. Tip up and in by Samuel Williamson, a 6'7 freshman. They like him. They like his ability and talent. Very skilled. Nobody blocked him out. So you got certainly Winston and you took Michigan State. Very dangerous player. Look at Williamson, good rebound. I've heard a lot of good things about this kid. They say he's multi-skilled. Yeah, the other freshman they're in love with is a local kid, David Johnson, 6'5 freshman, who can really get up very quickly. Yeah, very athletic. They've done a good job recruiting last year and this year as well. Got the Paul Dean party and Mark and I. He's a very good player. Kimball on the drive, shovels that up with no. Rebound tipped around, hauled back by Sutton. He eventually got it to Enoch. Kimball's one of those fifth year players. Came out of St. Joe's. His coach right here who got a raw deal at St. Joe's. Got fired 24 unbelievable years dedicated to the city and to the team. Very odd high for Enoch. Yes! Very good. Down the three. Pretty good when you got your big guys stuck it out. He comes the way of Connecticut. He's with the Huskies. Well, now the bill starts to catch fire a little bit. And they open up a 12-4 lead. Simpson shredding the D will lay it up and the blocking foul. Simpson finally got through down the lane. Got to dish, but he went there to score. Lima, Ohio's Mr. Basketball as he knocks stepping out. Well, it's great watching these big guys stretch the defense, step out, make long-range shots. Now Perry will pick up his first foul. We don't find many post guys like we had in the past. He has like Shaquille, who's unbelievable. These guys all want to step out to learn, making threes. The NBA's adopted that kind of play, screen, step out. What do you think? Is that an era that is totally gone? Well, you know, looks like I'm sure there's some big guy somewhere will come in. I look like a guy I had years ago. People may not know his name. He was a true low post player, Bob Lemieux. Oh, yeah. Started at St. Bonaventures for years. Yeah, with shoes the size of gun bolts. Yeah, he was unbelievable. I had a great story about Lemieux. One time we're getting pounded by the Lakers. Kareem was having a field day. He leans over to me. He's sitting next to me because he's out with an injury in his knee. He said, he said, Dick. I figured out our problem. We got no inside play. I said, no kid, you sitting next to me. Get, get healthy, man. You're, not, you're man. not on the floor. Oh, man. Right. We got no inside play. Give me a break. Exactly 10 minutes to go here in a very choppy, to put it mildly, first half in a marquee matchup. Choppy and sloppy. Yes. I like that right. See that? Out. Wow. Michigan inbound. <laughs> Brooks, penetration with the teardrop, left it shy. Yeah, Brooks has really been big for them, an unsung hero. He had 24 in one game down here in the Bahamas. Yeah, against North Carolina. Yeah, shoots the ball. But, you know, they dominated Carolina. Carolina beat big time. They were up 24 on them. Carolina and Virginia toe-to-toe -to -toe in Charlottesville on Sunday. The will draw the foul as he tried to return that one back up there, 9.36 to go in the half. See, the one thing that Louisville does have, they got depth. They can go to a lot of bodies. They got people that can play on their bench. They're very, very pleased about some of the progress. They like the practice sessions where guys get after it. They can throw and play in time. If you're not playing well, you're going to go to the pie. Yeah, Chris Mack believes he can go at least 10 deep, maybe as many as 11 or 12. So Enoch has the line. will knock down the first one. He's only 65% there, but Louisville returning six of the seven top scorers from last year's team. Well, he did a great job, Chris Mack and Xavier. 
He went five consecutive years to the NCAA tournament. He reached the Sweet 16 four times. He went to the Elite Eight in 2017. I mean, come on now, he did a great job at that school. Well, I asked him today at the shoot around, how do you feel about a game like this at this magnitude so early? He said, I'll tell you why I like it. We're at home. <laughs> I don't blame him, man. On the road's a different story. Yeah. Simpson. They're doing a great job not allowing Simpson to make the turn and beat the guy that's guarding. Castleton the big. Nice give. John Jr. as it slapped away. Louisville's defense has been very tough. Williamson oh. sips the pass. Boy, right on the line. And that's going to be a turnover as Wara will give it back. Wara, great hands to make that catch. Looks like he can play tight end in the NBA in the NFL. Wow, what a great catch he made there. 6 a junior from Buffalo, New York. He's also a two-time academic All-American. That's impressive. 13 to 5, Louisville. Trying to go to 8 0, no, the newly minted number one. Tiger and a whistle on the play with 8.57 left. I think they got a little push inside on Enoch. They did. That'll be his first. I was mentioned Sutton and Warren together. I was looking it up a little while ago. They have averaged 33 points a game and 15 rebounds a game, the two guys as a tandem. They've had some blowouts early. Let's face reality. I mean, they'll be the first to tell you. <clears throat> this is really the first major test they've had. They had Miami on the road, opening the ACC. Miami came off a big win yesterday, beating the Illinois team that was 6-1 at the time at Illinois. Jay Eight Laranagan. to get off the shot, the block by Enoch. The 6'10 key, senior. The key thus far in this game, Obi, is the containment and the control they've had of Simpson. He has not been able to be the maestro guy. He's not been able to do the things he wants to do, as Chris Budden said a little bit earlier. He's not that maestro man right now. They have him really under control. Enoch, as good as it gets blocking a shot and off of Michigan. Big man is due to hit one. He's missed four shots in a row. He's been close on some. Enoch, let's fly. He's really starting to feel it. He has six points, 15 to five. Well, the big guy, Enoch, steps up. Goes in the little shoe, and the crowd wakes up. Look at them all standing up. You have the little the back. They go on Waco, they go on Fernandez, they love their car goals. No, look at this here. They are playing it so tough. Look at that defense. Look at that defense. He says, you're not making a turn on me. Oh, what a great job on the point guarding the ball. Baseline shot, nothing but air by John Jr. Michigan shooting it horribly here. Hold on an eight to one. <laughs> Just a matter of time. He's as smooth a shooter as you're gonna find. Ryan McMahon from downtown. And Louisville fans love it. They love it. Well, Dick Louisville on an 11 to 1 run. Can't be as easy as you saying Ryan McMahon is due to hit one, and he hits one. <laughs> well, really, you can see he's had been very close on many of the shots. Oh, look at that right there. You look good in that car, Obi. Right. We are raffling off a beautiful red Mercedes convertible. All for helping kids battle cancer. I need all you Louisville fans out there, Michigan fans out there, please help us. $100 per chance. All you got to do is go to dickvitalonline.com. Dickvitalonline.com. We're selling 1,500 chances. We've already sold over 800 in the first two weeks, so we will sell out. Get those chances. Dickvitalonline.com. Help us help kids. All for the D Foundation. Teske harassed, could not connect on a lay-in. By the way, all donations benefit the D Foundation for cancer research. Yeah, he should have had that one right there. Nice pass by McMahon. And a whistle. It's 7-16 to go in the half. The foul will be on Williamson of the Cardinals. You know, it's really interesting. If you look at the stat sheet, right now, Simpson, who is their orchestra leader, leads the nation in assists. He doesn't have one yet in this game. He hasn't been able to do the things that he normally does, and that's a credit to Perry and the different guys that have been rotating on him. They've done a great job staying in front of him, not making him make that turn. Juwan Howard telling his guys, listen, you need to be patient. You're forcing too many shots. Wait till you see the open lane. If it's not there, be patient, kick it out. 
Rivers will give it up. He, in particular, has forced a couple early on. Shot clock to five on the back down. And nice touch there once again by Teske. He uses either hand while you're right there, Chris, talking about patience. And suddenly Jawan was right. You got to have a little more patience, make that extra pass for the higher percentage shot. Campbell lost it off his foot. Kibble's done a good job, too, rotating with Perry, playing Simpson. Also done a great job controlling when Brooks was on the floor. Well, the Wolverines need something good to happen. They need a run before halftime. And Julius way downtown, around and out, got a great look, but could not contain that, could not hit that one. But he played so well coming off the bench. He was a sixth man that really excelled in that game down there in the Bahamas. Or fires and nails it. He's feeling it. He's a storm. He knows it. I talked to him before the game. I can feel that swag. He had that swag, man. That star is possessed. Not the cocky way. Lord, I'm just good, man. I'm good. You can look at him. He yeah. knows it. Good for distance. 250% beyond the three. Teske trying to answer, trying to muscle in close. Got his own miss. Missed that one. Another tip. No. Three, three efforts right there by Teske. Working hard on the inside. The three-point shot that's been big for Michigan all year has not been here tonight. Have they made a three yet? 42% beyond the three-point line so far. And this was Wara before the game. This is a good couple of hours before the game got underway. Well, you know, I talked to him about 515, 520, and he was out there shooting. Just came out really in a good mood. Averaging 22 a game. But well, there's a guy who's really off early, Livers, 6'7", Jr., averaging 17 a game coming in. Tiptoeing into Lane Kimball, and he'll draw the foul. Five into the basket. Michigan looks a little bit sluggish early in the game. I don't know if it's a travel, you know, Bahamas, back to Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor to here. I'm not making any excuses, but the bottom line is they don't look as fresh and as quick as I saw down here in the Bahamas. Biggest jump in the Associated Press poll in the history of the poll over 70 years from unranked to top five also with wins over creighton and iowa state two traditional winning programs 21st annual big 10 acc challenge rolls on tomorrow notre dame taking on number three maryland first game at 7 30 and it's ohio state taking on number seven north carolina at the dean smith center two great matchups in espn yeah, you got to keep an eye on the buckeyes this buckeye team <clears throat> like their football team really is outstanding the football teams in another world i mean they're unreal what they did they can't hear me in ann arbor right i want to mention this right now they can't hear me can they hear yeah, me they can hear you they yeah. can hear me i don't want to hear me <laughs> i'm going to tell them about jim harbour the boys got ripped man, by the buckeyes oh wow the julius draws the foul but he's 50, hit by mcmahon with 56 on the board in that game but tell you what though nobody dick nobody wants any part of clemson clemson's very good we know they're very good their coach was telling everybody today how good they were. Yes, Dabo. I, Dabo's not real happy with some of the coverage and some of the uh, criticism of you know, his schedule, for example. I heard Reese Davis tell you, Reese was terrific talking about that. They're going to be in the playoffs, no doubt about it. He said, but look at who they've played. Their schedule has not been strong. It's not their fault. It's not their fault of the ACC, but they beat those teams. But really, realistically, you look at the numbers. I mean, I love Dabo. He's to, uh, you know, they're going to be that tournament, there's no doubt about it. Look at this thing. I mean, the number four team in the country, Michigan, held to nine points with less than five minutes to go in the first half. In tight, Enoch. Yes, he's had a really nice half. Enoch's been effective for them. They look like they have a little quicker step, Louisville. Way downtown, Brooks. No. Tipped out of playoff, Michigan. Enoch going to work on the inside, a little jump hook. They got guys that can rotate in there. Enoch, Malik Williams. And I just love Sutton and Wara. They're competitors, man. Enoch again. Get the ball in there too easily. And Michigan just trying to get into double figures here. Brooks trying to attack. He'll kick. For Julius, no. Rebound tip controlled by the Cardinals. Shots not even close. Not even close. 
is a much better team than we're witnessing here tonight. But I'm very impressed with the defensive effort by Louisville. All five guys buying in, playing team defense. Or, uh, no. Put the ball in Julius' hands right now. See if he can create some offense for him. Rivers denied, trying to get inside that lane. You know, really being challenged on shots. A lot of good help defensively. Look at that defensive help. Livers got a great look, and he'll bury the three. Well, Teske set that up for him. What a big screen. The big guy in Livers used the screen well. He's Mr. Basketball. First guy in Michigan, Mr. Basketball, since Manny Harris years ago. Came from Kalamazoo, Livers. Great kid. You talk to him, just a beautiful young guy. Mobile with a 12-point advantage. McMahon off the fake. He'll drive it. And contact and a foul. 312 left in the half. We look at the tote board and the Big Ten ACC challenge as we go to break. All nodded up at 1 1, needing eight wins to clinch. They had a really outstanding team. I know you also said that Michigan should be number one coming in here. <laughs> Remember that? I heard you say that to me when I was in the Bahamas. You said, look, who did they be in? Hey, Seth, I remember everything. You don't forget anything. Oh, gee. Yeah, feeling it here early, in and out with a three-point attempt. And, but it's the Michigan Wolverines. Ice cold 15% shooting there, four for 26. And this is a really good shooting team. Yeah, really good shooting team. But they're not getting the kind of shots they want. It was Louisville's defense. There's another deflection and steal. Unbelievable. Kimball leaning in. Harassed on that play. Should have given the ball up. A little bounce pass to McMahon. Bad shot right there. Bad possession. I love Seth. Seth does a great job in that studio for us. And man, is he busy. Wagner on the cut. Lost the handle on that. And deflected off the bill. You got to set some screens for guys. And they had the one possession. Teske laid a big screen. Watch this right here. Here comes the number 15. Watch Teske right now. He's going to lay a screen for Livers. There, look at that big screen. He get a wide open shot. Even my guy Greenberg can make that shot. I know I can. One eye, ball headed, and I'll make that shot at 80. Give me that empty shot. Are you kidding me? How many bricklayers I see in college basketball? I want guys that can make shots. Brooks. Slams on the brakes. Again, more good defense from Kimball, who's sticking right with him. Teske, short jumper, and he'll knock it down. I'm going to tell you this. This game, I don't think it's over. This Michigan team is explosive. I've seen them go on runs, 19 zip out there with North Carolina. I saw them with a run against Gonzaga. So all you people that think this game is in the bank, forget about it. A lot of basketball to be played. And remember, who they've already beaten you know, a couple of top ten opponents in North Carolina and Gonzaga. And the defense by Livers trying to save it. Wara went to the other hand and backed it in. He's got great body control. What balance. What agility. What mobility. That was a terrific play. That was that, gorgeous. That was not a layup. That was a mini version of a Michael Jordan kind of play. He has ten. Inside a minute 20 before the break. Thankfully, play is heating up a little bit here. Brooks off down, tipped up, and that will go. And a nice play by Johns Jr. to slash into the lane. Yeah, Johns Jr. right there getting some PT playing time. We'll get a little more with that kind of effort. John Howard made those kind of plays. He'll play for the Fab Five. Double kind of stumbling in, lost his footing. On the run, Johns Jr. blocked out of the sky by Wara. I'll well, tell you, one into the other dick. Wall has been a star of stars. Michigan's got one assist in this game. They got the leading assist in the nation. Mr. Simpson. And close, he'll draw the foul and he'll be at the line. Here comes their only assist right here. You're going to see it right here. There it is. And there's the little baseline jump shot. Teske. Teske just picked up foul number two. So it'll be two shots for Dwayne Sutton, the senior. Louisville kid. You know, last year in this game, they played Michigan State, Louisville. Went overtime, Thomas O's Club. 82 78. And I'm going to tell you, it was a brilliant performance. Look at War. War, he's doing it all defensively. Great block, great timing. You see him scoring. But they won that game 82 78. And the star of stars was Ryan McMahon. He had 24 points. He had like 14 free throws. I believe he's coming in his game. And you told me this, Obi. With 31 in a row on yes. the free throw line. Going back to last year. Yeah, last year. In fact, he's the best foul shooter in the history of Louisville. 
They got to get him on the free throw line. 27 seconds before halftime. Brooks again, sliding a little bit. Keeping that foot down. Shot clock to 10. And a reach in by Kimball. And for fresh Kimball, number two. I wonder what he thinks when he looks over at the bench and he sees his former coach. He sees Phil Martelli there on the other side. He's an enemy tonight, at least for a couple of hours. And he was a three-time captain for Phil at St. Joe's. Yeah, Phil raves about him. Phil and his wife, I spoke to them at dinner one night, and they just rave about Kimball as a person. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Phil Martelli should still be the coach at St. Joe's. Another foul here by Perry. Stops the clock, seven and a half seconds to go. Perry with his second. And nothing against Billy Lang. Billy Lang's a good person, but Phil should have never been let go. The women's Jimmy V Classic presented by Corona. Sunday at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific at ESPN. Notre Dame taking on number four UConn at Gamble Pavilion in stores. Hey, you talk about women's basketball. Louisville right now is number one at the men's and then number two with the women. Dana Evans has been a star. Jeff Walsh, 13 years. They beat number one. Oregon came in, and they beat Oregon. Jeff, a terrific coach. Has been for a long time. The depth of your knowledge just astounds no, me. No, no, no. I need Doris to help me. Where's Doris Burke? Where are you, Doris? Brooks with another one here. 28-17. They've quieted him down, too, because yeah. he's really been effective. A little bit of a comeback here for the Wolverines to get to it in 10. Malik Williams, big junior at 6'11", taking the court now for Louisville. Chris Budden win the house. She's going to lay some goodies on us like she did so far in the game. A timeout here for Louisville, and it will drop a play. 6.7 to go before the break, 28-18. to Dick, I'll tell you what, Jordan War is fun to watch. He really is. He's so athletic. He plays with confidence. He knows his demand. He's right now, his stock is going up. Last year they had him down as a number two, second round, possible choice. Now he's listed as a late, late first round. I think he's going to keep moving up. He's just a tough, tenacious guy who can make shots as well from the perimeter. Well, he thought about leaving to go to the NBA. Maybe on his way to a Final Four, stumbling, and the ball will be tipped off of Michigan with 1.4 to go. They should look for a quick shot, set a screen for McMahon right here. Should lay a screen for him. Perry to put it in. So time to get off a decent shot. Going to bring Fresh Kimball back on. And so he will be the inbounder. Perry did a great job thus far in his first half defensively. He's really done a solid defensive job. Chris Max got to really applaud that effort. McMahon does get it, had to alter the shot, and didn't touch anything. So at the end of the first half, Louisville has taken a 28-18 lead over Michigan in the Big Ten ACC Challenge, second half to come. Welcome back to the Big Ten ACC Challenge presented by Continental Tire and ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. Over 20,000 on hand at the KFC Yum Center Louisville up by 10 at halftime. Dickie B, we're looking for someone to make a shot in the second half. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's been Brick City, USA. This is not the team we saw in the Bahamas. I got a text message from my buddy Jimmy Dykes. He said, that's not the team, Dickie V, that we saw. I think the key has been the way they've really cut off Simpson. One of the keys, but hustle. You take a shot, it looks like it's not there, but you never quit on it. You stay with it. You stay with it. Watch Warren. He shoots an off-balance shot, but look at the ball. And now he says, you know what? I'm going to show quickness to get that rock, baby, and take that rock to the goal. Because look at that lane. I'm going to split those two suckers and go right to the basket. Great body control. And, strength. and here's the key in the game. Simpson is outstanding, number three, one of the premier point guards in the nation. Very cerebral, all right? Look at his defense. Not to let him get in. Come deep, and he throws the ball in the stands. Turnover. No assist in the first half for Mr. Simpson. If this gets the win, he's got to be a catalyst, and he's got to get them going, and they got to start making shots. Brooks is 0 for 4 as well. Look at the turnover situation. One assist. Unbelievable. Uh, both teams had season low in points in the first half and field goal shooting. 
you know, it was first down. It was great meeting Darrell Griffin here at halftime. He was honored along with Luke Hancock, Purvis Sellison. In fact, Purvis played on an 87 team that beat our guy, Jay Billis, to them in the national championship game. Yeah, Jay, that, really appreciate you mentioning no, that again. But that was a great, great Duke team. They were like 37 and 2 going into that game. They had beaten an outstanding Kansas team with Danny Manning. I think that Jay Allery and Connie Dawkins, Coach K, had a great team. We welcome so, you to our second half, brought to you by Sonic Blockbuster. Perry with a one-hander, and we'll knock that down. Good start for the Cardinals in the second half. Well, any point production got on Perry's a positive because what he does really well, he sets the tone defensively by pressure on that ball. He's going laterally right now, Simpson, instead of going north and south. Kicks it outside for Brooks off the fake. And partially blocked. Little slow on the release. Did not see that in the Bahamas. I'm telling you, there's a step not there like they have. Laura, not there for him. Last time Michigan was held under 20 points and a half, November of 2008 against Savannah State. Wow. Seems to hook. In and out. He likes to use that hook shot. tuskie has been active, I'll tell you that. He's done his part. He's going to not scoring like he normally would. Oh, yeah, that's good. Gets to that's good news right there for Jawan Howard. That's good news right there for Michigan. Yes, sir. Hail to the victors. Have to like to see that because that could give him a spark and get him going. Well, you say at halftime, this game is far from over. Oh, absolutely. Michigan's capable of going on a real spurt. And a whistle. 18-27 to play here at the KFC Yum Center. They get Wara for the foul, and that'll be his first. Juwan Howard knows a little bit about winning. Look at this right here now. Gonna try to go to the lane. Goes to the lane. Nobody cuts him off and he lays it up. And he does that well when he gets in the lane. He's either passing the ball or he can score the ball. He's missed the basketball in Ohio at the line. Ohio. Has a 9.7 assists a game. Teske for the corner. Yes. So knock it down. There's an assist right there for Simpson. Little two-man play. They got a single digit. This is a good Michigan team. Trust me. I saw this team out there. They are really outstanding. They just did not play well. They got a credit in Louisville for the defensive effort they did. Kick ball there. Simpson, by the way, with his first assist tonight in the 500th of his career, fourth player in Michigan history to do that. Hey, Chris, what did uh, what did Juwan have to say? I know you were over there. I told his boys at half, like, this is just basic competition, just play ball. He said, we're missing layup shots that we normally hit. I asked him what he attributed it to. He's like, I don't think it's tired. I don't think we're pressing. We're just not hitting our shots. Okay, one thing about Juwan, always patient. Nice pass right there by Simpson. Another assist. And here we go. And Bogner with two. Bogner's got good skills, man. The one thing, there'll be no panic at all out of Juwan Howard. Taking the streets of Chicago, the south side of Chicago. He's faced some tough times. Won two championships with all those teams with LeBron and Wade, Miami. He played 19 years in the NBA. And he's, wow. really, he's produced kind of a relaxed atmosphere here, but great attention to detail. Another misfire here by the Cardinals. And the foul will go against them. And rebounding action, 30-24. to 24. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you see the momentum right now. It is swung to kids at Ann Arbor. There's no doubt about it. Uncle Mo has arrived for Michigan. War with his second, so keep an eye on that. Michigan on a 6-0 run. Number one against number four. Little gets back. He's all fired up on that sideline. Trying to see more of what Simpson's about. He's the maestro man. He's the orchestra leader. Number three with the rock in his hands. What a great pass. And Teske will draw the foul. Get on the play with 16.59 to go in this one. That'll be number two on McMahon. He's got great vision. Great vision. Always knows where everybody is on the floor. That's what we talk about a player being cerebral, having a good basketball IQ. He is aware of everyone on the floor. We did not see the real Simpson in the first half. And if you want to see a real point guard in the Big Ten, Watch Maryland with Anthony Cowan. He is unbelievable. A terrific talent. As Simpson has really been an Iron Man. You know, 124 consecutive starts for him, consecutive games into tonight. Now Simpson was over the sideline, took it to Howard Isley, who's an outstanding player, Boston College, also in the NBA. 
Let's do about point guard play. You're gonna go a little half court trap. You're gonna go a little trap. Three quarter token. Just to try to get a little tempo. Laura to the paint and before the basket fouled on the floor. So Michigan with an eight nothing run to cut into this lead, 30 to 26. They're back. The Wolverines are back. Mr. Isley on the sideline. They missed the Washington to his left. John Teske, by the way, just picked up his third foul. That's big. They're going to get him out. He's a factor on the inside. Banging in there with Enoch. I would throw the ball into Enoch. He's got three fouls. Throw it into He's going to throw it into I'm throwing it into who? I'm not throwing it to Enoch. I'm throwing it into who? Are you kidding me? I'm Warren. I'm an All American. Preseason All American who's been outstanding in the early going. Some tough shots. It was a tough, tough shot. Good, good balance. Look, look, Enoch wanted the ball. He said, no, 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 Enoch. You want it? Hope I miss it. You rebound it, because I'm going to the next one. <laughs> Can you name for me the Fab Five? Uh, this is Ray Jackson, Juwan Howard, Chris, Chris Weber, Jalen Rose, and... Jalen Rose, Jimmy King, Juwan Howard. Juwan Howard, Jimmy King, Ray Jackson, um, Jalen Rose, and C. Wade. Ding, ding, ding. Want to get it right? Go to the point guard. Oh, <laughs> you got to hope that coach isn't watching that. Only one out of the three that I interviewed got it right. But you have to give them a little bit of leeway, guys. This, they yeah. weren't even born eight years from being born yet. Wow. And one of them's from Germany. <laughs> Yeah, we'll give them a break on that one right there. But what a team that was. They changed the culture with the socks and the pants. Jalen Rose was a terrific player. He had the NBA, he was special as well. Doing a great job now with us at ESPN. Meanwhile, this is turning into a game. The two teams combined to shoot 26% in the first half. 50% so far in the second half, and they're going to turn it over. Good little turnover right there. Tough catch for Wagner. He's going to get some open looks. He can make the three, Wagner. Yeah, he started all three games in the Bahamas after missing the first four because of a right wrist injury. Actually fractured his wrist in practice back in October, but he's healthy again. Well, Musil fans know the name Wagner because his brother tore them up. Oh, yeah. Since 2013, he's just a heck of a play. And the spin Wara and deflected out of the sky by Livers, but he got it back. Shot clock at 11. He'll stick it up and hit it. It was, it was in 2013. He tore him up in an NCAA game, second round game. It was 2017. Brooks off the fake. Teske. Into the lane. Perry came over to tie him up. Knocked it free, but a reach in foul after Simpson got it back. That'll be number three on Darius Perry. He's the point guard for the Ville. Tell you one thing, they're utilizing the jump hook. I haven't seen so many jump hooks. Take a look right here. Little jump hook in the lane. Oh, Kareem would like that. Look across the Ohio River at the KFC Yum Center. 20,000 on hand tonight. Coming up next on ESPN and ESPN app at 9.30 Eastern. The Big Ten ACC Challenge rolling on. Trey Jones at number 10 Duke taking on Cassius Winston at number 11 Michigan State from the Breslin Center. Okay, one thing, what a point guard matchup that is. He goes to, you know, I talked about earlier, 86 when they won that national title. It was Purvis, Ellison, Billy Thompson, Milt Wagner, and Duke had a great 86 team with Billis, Halley, Hawkins, Amica, Henderson, Danny Ferry, Billy King, a defensive stopper. Well, Michigan State will pick it back on a turnover, 34-26 Louisville. And it's eight turnovers so far for the Wolverines tonight. You know, the biggest margin was 22-7. They were up 15, Louisville. So they've cut that in half. Kimball trying that baseline around Simpson off the bank and swatted away by Wagner. Good job by Wagner rotating over defensively. Came over there, did a good job. Uh, Dick has not paid to be the number one team in the country so far this season. Michigan State losing in the open. It's been a tough road for number one. Yeah, number one. I think we're going to see number one change quite a bit this year. I really do. I mean, the competition is going to pick up the lead with big time. Shot clock down to two. Williams took a look, has to heave it up there. Batted away and saved by Brooks right on the line. The fans are howling down there. They thought he went over the line. 
They got to get Brooks going. Simpson. Brooks has been very really quiet. And he was not quiet in the Bahamas, man. He was putting points on the board. Well, suddenly now, it's the Cardinals looking for some offensive flow. And a tough basket by Kimball. That was a great play by Kimball right there with the left-hand drive. He's coached sitting on the sidelines, Mr. Martelli. Look at this right now. A little tiptoe. Oh, oh, he was out. Tiptoe on the Trillips. That's a tiny tip, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. About 100 years ago. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I was around then. <laughs> yeah. You weren't. I was not. I'm going to oh, bleed geez. to that. 36 26. They won that title in 86. Louisville never nervous. Won it in 80 with Daryl Griffin. And they won it in 2013. When Luke Hancock was here tonight, gave a speech. Came off the bench, was brilliant. In yeah. that game, Michigan's like Wal Walbrick came off the bench. Big for Michigan. Luke gave a very emotional speech. There's another hook shot. That one won't fall. Second effort now. Barker straight on. Sutton with the rebound. Simpson loves using that hook. He works on it. That's a shot part of his arsenal. Well, the hook shot making a big comeback it's tonight. Big. It's big in this game. Kimball to grab from Philly to the baseline. Very heady player. Laura struggling in tight. Off the iron. The follow by Williams. Malik Williams. He's got big size. First six minutes of first half. Stat line was 0 0 0, but he's a little more active here in the second half. And the crowd appreciates it. They like it. They got back to double digits. 8 0 run. Livers trying to scrap for that on the deck. And a reach here by Williams. And they're going to get a foul on the play against Louisville. Now, the last two shot we saw did not go, but grade this for us. this, baby. There he goes down the lane for a guard. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. I like this form on a scale of 10. I give him a solid 9. I give him a 9. Maybe not there with Magics. Oh, no, no, not with Magic. Or, of course, Kareem, which was unstoppable. Oh, Kareem was this guy unstoppable. Up. Kareem was off the charts with it. Why do you think kids don't shoot it more, especially the big guys? You know, it's not cool. It's not cool. They want to show they can shoot the jump shot. We're dunking. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Brooks off the inbounds, and Rora with the rebound. All the momentum now for the Cardinals. Yeah, the Cardinals come back now. Brooks has been so quiet. It's been a quiet night for him. He's got 2,400 points in high school. Jordan Rora averaging 22 and 7. On the attack, two more. He can attack for off the bounds, and he wants the rock. It's great when you got a star player who can deliver when you're a little bit on the ropes because they lost the momentum at the beginning of the half, but they got it back. Well, his crowd is a real weapon here in downtown Louisville every time they play here. Simpson got around Williams. They love their basketball, man. There's a school down the road a little bit, about 60 miles away, lets their basketball as well. Beautiful shot by Castle in the 6'11 sophomore. He's getting better and better. He's a kid's got to get stronger physically, but that was a good reverse baseline drive. Out of Daytona Beach, Florida, to they quiet some, the crowd for a moment. They need some stops here defensively, though. they got to give McMahon some shots. He's going to drive it and fouled by Simpson. Good drive by the band because he wants to get to the charity strike. 31. We're probably going to jinx him now. From the what, what, what do you mean, we? I didn't say anything no, about no, it. I, uh, the 31 in a row. Doesn't matter because this kid's too good. 31 in a row on a free throw line from last year to this year. Simpson with his third foul. Is this the inevitable jinx? I tell you one thing, I begged schools to look at him after we watching him in high school, and everybody said, too small, can't play. I must have called 30 schools up. You name them, I called them up. I remember you and I were doing games, and oh, how about oh, that? Are you how kidding me? That? Are you serious? Are you serious? Right, come on, come on. Keep that elbow here. Come on. I can't believe he missed it. He didn't miss one in practice. He had 31 in a row. If he oh. misses two, I'm walking out of the yeah, building. Yeah, I am but... too. Oh, man. Wow. But anyway, you know, Rick Pitino was the only guy that sent his assistant to come and look at him. Then he came. It was like 
the Pope came to Sarasota when he walked in, and he ended up liking Ryan. Well, he oh. came over and shook your hand. He looked you in the eye. I think he said thank you with all the work you did to get him recruited. Well, and he wound up really making an impact on this team. He's really helped this team. He's had a really solid career as one of the captains. Wagner can't hit. On the run, Kimball. Sutton on the crossover. Yes! Boy, what a nice duo they have. What a tandem. They got two winners, man. And Sutton and Wara. They are two very athletic players. Castleton pounding inside. Kimball nearly pried that free. Under 12 minutes to go, and it's all Louisville. Simpson looking to pry at them again. Yeah! Knocks it down. He's playing better here in the second half. Now his teammates going to start making some shots. The three ball has been so good to Michigan all year, and it's not there tonight. At least not yet. Kimball has it stripped. Wagner battling for it in the seat of his pants. Comes away with it. He also took a shot in the nose. Back out for Livers. He's really got Livers quiet here tonight. Wagner, he's got a great look, but it was in and out. And that's his skill. His skill is to shoot the free and make the free. I mean, I watched him down in the Bahamas. They didn't miss shots. You took the Roy Williams. You took the Mark Few. Those guys would tell you they didn't make miss shots. Johnson misfired badly. That didn't touch a thing. Challenge the freshman, but way off target. They were challenged against Step Iowa back. State as well. So what are they right now shooting threes? What is Michigan shooting threes? We've got to get that stat. This hit is not good. Shooting over 40% for the year. One for 10. One for 10. I can even figure that's 10%. One for 10. Both teams combined, four for 23. It has not been a clinic. And both clubs, one of the, two of the top teams shooting the three. Unbelievable. Sure have been. We'll see if they catch fire in the last 10 minutes. Join ESPN and the V Foundation in the fight against cancer. Visit V.org slash donate. All donations benefit the V Foundation for cancer research. Tell you one thing, what a great job the board does. I'm so proud to be a member of the board. Over $250 million thus far has been raised. Susan Braun does a great job as the head of the V Foundation. I concentrate on pediatric cancer. 29 million, my people, my team, Mary Keneally, Janet Allen. 29 million? So far for kids. Hey, go get that car I showed you earlier, that red Mercedes convertible. Tickets going quick on it, $100 a chance. Just go to pickwhitetailonline.com and get your chance to win a new Mercedes. McMahon fires that? that one up. Shot clock was winding down. It was down to one. Knocked away to Michigan. War, by the way, has shown up 16 points, 10 rebounds, the second double-double of the season for Louisville. He's a double-double guy. Let's see if Simpson can create some good offense here. There's good defense right there by Michigan in the last possession. Tusk. Oh, he missed Tusky on him. Oh, nice drive by Simpson. Nice drive. He's starting to become a little more assertive offensively. Averaging 12 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. They did a great job on him defensively in the first half. Oh, the first half, they shut him down totally. Never allowed him to make the turn. See, their defense is not creating opportunities for transition layups. Michigan's defense has been a little bit softer here today than the in the Hawks. Enoch closing in a double-double. A lot of contact, yeah. no whistle, and it goes. I thought he walked. I thought he walked. So did Javon Howard. He's signaling a walk. But he not stayed with the play and got the conversion. 45-32. Livers will fire it up there. He, he missed badly. He's not close tonight. He's been a good three-point shooter. A great shot there by Williamson to make sure Louisville took it. You make the call. Here goes he knocked in the post. I thought he walked. I thought he walked. I thought he walked. But he got away with it. Bottom line is it counts. It's all that counts. It goes in the book for two. Well, maybe a danger zone here for the Wolverines. Number four team in the country against the number one team in the land. Williamson with a turnaround. That won't drop. 
has a bad shot right there. Young kid coming in, trying to make things happen too quickly. Yeah, McDonald's All-American, lots of talent. Tell you one thing, Michigan can't get easy layups. They can't get easy baskets. Everything's a five-on-five, five, no transition, three-on-ones, two-on-ones. You don't see any of it. Well, five against five. Tusky drawing a triple team and a foul. So he'll be at the line. He worked real hard here to get that opportunity. And watch this right here. He's got a good lane, wide open lane right here. The speed go right down that lane. Look at it, right down the lane. Here I come. Here comes Santa, right down the lane. All right, come on, now he's going to right down the lane again. Look at a gap. Taking advantage of the gap in the seam in the lane. You know what? I can understand beating the guy who's guarding him. But where's the team? The most dangerous thing on the floor is the basketball. And you've got to converge to the basketball. You don't worry about your people in that moment. You can't allow them to go there for layups. Sutton to the bench. Teske with another one. We'll drill it. Let's see if they can do something defensively. Dron Howard telling his team, listen. We're getting unlucky with not hitting shots, but what we can control is defense. I need you guys to over-communicate. When someone makes a switch, you need to communicate that. Sometimes you'll even see him hold up a picture. That's to tell his guys, keep talking on defense. I'll tell you one thing, Chris. That's a great point. A lot of teams do not do that. Communication is so vital to a good team defensively. Teske with that hook, no. Wow. And Michigan, as poorly as they shot the ball, they are still very much within striking distance. They have shot the ball horribly. And compared to what they did in the Bahamas, I can't believe what I'm watching from what I've seen there for three games. But there has to be a glimmer of hope as badly as they shot the ball. They say, oh, he'll drive it and hit it, he'll be at the line. That hope's going down a little bit more right there. A little there. bit right there. That yeah. drive by Williamson. I mean, you got seven minutes. Too many, too many direct drives to the goal with the lanes wide open. They got an open door policy. Open the door, there they go. Dave O'Brien alongside the Hall of Famer, Dickie B, Chris Button as well. From a very loud KFC Young Center, wow. rolling up 47 to 34. Wow, this place is electric, man. These fans love it. They also love it down there, Big Blue Nation. That's more, I think that's going to be one heck of a matchup with Mr. Calipari and company hooked up with the Louisville Cardinals. I'll tell you, one of the key stats tonight, Brooks was so efficient and so good down there in the Bahamas. He's 0 for 6 tonight. He's still working hard, though. He's got seven rebounds and a really struggling shooting. That's big for Michigan. 21,674 in the house. Williamson at the line. And looking for a three-point play. And don't forget what is coming up next. Yeah, Michigan State. Duke, that's going to be one heck of a battle. Winston. Yeah, Mr. Jones. I know Dan Schumann in the gang going wait. Mr. Billis. Allison Williams with a little, thinking about a little fight for Daniel. Simpson slamming on the brakes. Teske, no. Hustling for that on the line, but they're going to turn it over. It has been a struggle offensively. Oh, it's been a nightmarish night for the number four team in the country here. I think Jawan would like to dress up. Maybe we'll get some of the Fab Five guys. Get Jalen and Weber and company come on down. Jimmy Jackson, I'm Jimmy Jackson, Ray Jackson, and Jimmy King. Jimmy Jackson, Columbus, Ohio, superstar. What an era that was. Phenomenal talent. And a whistle before the shot, which is in and out by Wara. 47 to 34. <laughs> oh, look at his pitches here. He's flashing. Chris, what is that picture, Chris? Ger. That's a P.J. Tucker. There is a video that Howard showed his guys where he was at a USA basketball scrimmage telling his guys, you've got to communicate, you've got to communicate. So Howard said, I watch a lot of football and Oregon and they use the sign, so I thought this would be a perfect way. Plus, I'm losing my voice anyways. Teske relentless on the baseline, but can't hit three opportunities. I thought he got fouled on a little contact as well. Over the top. And Williams bats that one out. 6.7 very sloppy play here. And Louisville trying to be 
8 0 at the end of the night under Chris Mack. The Lev Xavier is alma mater for the bright lights of the ACC and has quickly had people talking Louisville and the Final Four in the same sentence. Say one thing, his bank account went a little bigger, too. Went ding a ling ding. I think you have a little more money here in Louisville than I have in Xavier. Ding a ling ding. I'd like some of that. Oh, my tax is so ding a ling ding. And Simpson somehow got right back up after the slip and maintained control. He'll drive it to kick out to the big fellow. And it'll rattle in for Teske. Finally get a three to go down, and Teske's able to do that. Give him 17. They can knock down a few threes. They can make this interesting. As poorly as they shot, as you said so well a little while ago, Obi, they're right there, 10 points down today with a three-point shot. It's not a big margin. Perry up top for Williams. Time to fire. And rebounded away by the Wolverines. So again, a little bit of an opening for them. I they haven't had many tonight. I don't think that's a shot you want. And they're going to turn it over. Try to jam right into Johns. Chris Mack, first game coaching an AP number one ranked team in 11 years as a head coach. Well, you know, it's a good moment for him. Now you get a big target on your back. Everybody after you. He'll be in the Jimmy V a double header down here at uh, Madison Square Garden next Tuesday play Texas Tech. Or uh, showing some muscle, but no, it's out off Michigan. We asked Chris about you know being number one before tonight's game, and he said, I really think it's more for the fans. It's more for the community than it is anyone else. He said, yeah, I'm proud of the way our guys have played this early in the season. Doesn't mean much. End of the year, of course, you know, come tournament time, that's when it will mean a lot more. Well, no doubt it means a lot more there, but I, these coaches tell you it doesn't mean much. They love it. Come on. They love it. Are you kidding me? That's pride to be number one. Got to be. Second effort. Here's Kimball. They're going to give him advance some shots, man. He's not getting any looks at all. Shot clock down to six. Slashing inside, Warren. He's denied by Teske. He wanted a foul there. Trying to look at the striped shirts. And looks, he can shoot the three, this guy. But tonight. Scrap for the rebound. Body's hitting the deck. Tell you one thing, he's diving on the floor. Teske, he can play for me. He hustles, he scraps. 7 1, 265. That and doesn't hurt. You can't teach that. Yes. MVP in the Bahamas, as you saw, at 19 and 15 in the championship game against Gonzaga. And he disrupted any kind of interior game they have on his side. McMahon. Rebound comes out high. The Wolverines want to push the tempo. The one thing Louisville has been doing all night long, Dick, is getting back in defense. Great call. Defense and transition has been excellent. There were no layups at all out of Michigan in transition. Tip two, three times and picked off. Simpson trying to jam that ball in. McMahon. Nice pass. Key for Laura. It'll drop in and nice high. pass. McMahon with the assist. The two man play. Oh, and the crowd loves it. Man, they love it. They love their partner. This state is so lucky to have two programs of the magnitude of Kentucky and Louisville. The seams and the gaps. Here they go. Watch the seams. Jump the ball inside. Good luck. Good diagonal pass. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Jordan Wara, by the way, 18 and 12 as you look at the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Big Ten out in front, 3 to 1. Eight wins needed to clinch. Wara back here instead of going on to the NBA, Chris. He said if he was a for sure first round, then he would have gone. But he tested the waters. The feedback that he got said there was uncertainty whether he would go first or second round. So he wanted to come back. He also told me he wanted to win a national championship. He loved the environment. And it was for Chris Mack as well, being able to play under him for another year. And Dick, you don't see that very often now. No, you don't really. Kids stay in school. But his stock is going to go up just like it did for P.J. Washington down here at Kentucky last year. His stock went up by having an extra year. And he became a heck of a player. Now he's starting in the NBA. That could wind up in the final four this season. Teske had a whistle with 3.25 to go. He got fouled, but he should have went a little stronger right there. Simpson with a good look. 
And Sutton will pick up his first foul of the night to put you know, the seven-footer at the line. You know, coming into this possession they just had, they were 13 for 52, 2 for 14 shooting the threes. Michigan, that's not offensive efficiency. And that's why they're struggling right now with only 30, what they got, 37 and 38. Uh, tonight after Duke, Michigan State, stick around for Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt. Big Ten ACC reactions plus bad beats, leftovers, and a college basketball edition. Sports Center with SVP after the Big Ten ACC Challenge doubleheader. You know, Scott does such a great job. He's such an entertainer. And I know he's on cloud nine with his perps, and they should be. And you guys go to the same barber, which, you know, that works. I know I give a guy a $10 tip, too. Do you believe that? <laughs> I give him a tip. Charging me 40 bucks for a haircut. Steal the money. Down in the mirror down at the barber shop. Warrow with a little fall away. And stays hot. It's all Warrow. He has lived up to the billing tonight. He has shown why he's one of the premier players in the nation. Livers has been very quiet for Michigan. Look at the way they stepped out on him. And they have picked up his dribble. It's been the defense of Louisville. That has been a difference maker tonight. Edge defensively for Louisville. Julius off the back of the rim. Well, you make a great point. You know, a team can have a bad shooting night. But so often, it's superior defense that makes that happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Same thing in tennis when a guy turns the ball. You know, it's unbelievable. Makes errors, turnovers, or whatever you call. Uh, you know, for, forced errors. It's the other guy in the other net. He's making great plays to make that happen. Yeah, I know you know your tennis. I love tennis. Bora again draws That's the out. foul in the act of shooting. That was the five on the shot clock. And look at the step back just moments ago. They got a great camaraderie, too. All the players seem to like each other. Bunch of step back, a little medium range jumper. The term we hear now is guys can shoot some players three levels, medium range, long range, and drive them to the goal. He fits that category. Livers with his second to put Wara at the line. And the way you watch him, you, you think, I'm looking at a pro. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. He'll definitely play in the next level. Make a few dollars along the way. Coached by his dad, Alex, on the Nigerian national team when they played in China in the FIBA World Cup. Nice kid. Spoke to him a little before the game. And just really a nice young guy. Who do you not speak to well, before the game? I was doing my periscope at Dickie V, part of my Twitter, before the game. He walked in. I said, there's my guy, Mr. Warren. What about your team? And he gave me a good answer. Kenny Klein, who does a great job. The SIDs across America are so underpaid for what they do. They provide us all this data. People think that we have it all. They provide it all to us. Guys like Kenny couldn't work any harder. Nice play there by Simpson. Off the backboard for two and draws the foul. Yeah, used that left hand really well. I look at the Michigan team and I think about what John Beeline did. But look at these here. I mean, jumping to, into the pole, man. Take a look at this. Incredible. Kansas did it in 1990. I mean, this is from nothing, from unranked to number four in the country. It's first time in 70 years of the AP poll anyone's been able to do that. But coming into his tough an environment as you can see this season. Yeah, you know, you get number four, you're on cloud nine, and all you got to do is go meet number one on their floor in front of 21,000 people. Right. Thanks. Thanks for scheduling ACC Big Ten Challenge. And it's like Louisville has a chance of both last year beat Michigan State. Yep. And they say, you know what? And we're going to beat Hale to the victims. I love that fight song. But I love the one South Bend a little bit more. Cheer, cheer for our own daughter day. Oh, Hale to the victors. Well, you talk about your unsung players, Dickie V, into this season, the early portion of the schedule and that includes Eli Brooks had a very tough night. Yeah, Eli Brooks has had a really tough night, but he's been like an unsung hero all year. I love Halliburton. Are you kidding me? Oh, Toppin's been great for Dayton. He leads the nation to field goal percentage. Paul Reed undefeated the ball right now. And Anthony Lamb is a treat to watch for Vermont. I'm going to tell you, Halliburton, you talk about size for a guard, six, five and a half, great vision. He put a show. He put a show passing the rock, man. He looked one way, looked the other. He dish it here, looked there, pass it there. Oh, he was great. And look here, I give it to you like that. A little layup. Halliburton was magic with the ball. They're going to love him at the Hilton Coliseum. He is special. By the way, the last time Michigan scored less than 50 in a game, 46 at South Carolina 
And that was three years ago, a 61 to 46 loss. So doesn't happen every day for them or anybody else as far as an elite team. You know, this program, Michigan, has elevated itself because of a brilliant job that John Beeline did in his tenure, man. He went to national championship games, got beat by Louisville in 2013. Then he got beat in 2018 by Villanova, but he got to the final game. He's just a brilliant coach. He's coached on every level. You name it, junior college, high school college, division one, small college. I mean, he's done it. He wanted that next challenge, coaching on the NBA. And it's a challenge right now because he's got a young team and they're gonna suffer a lot of L's along the way. Mm -hmm. You made the jump yourself. Yeah, I know that feeling. Oh, you're not going to be denied tonight. We can say all we want, the height. Oh, they can make threes. This game is in the books. This game is Louisville, number one. They'll continue being number one. Their defense was superb. Wagner from the corner. That'll rattle in three-pointer and a timeout. I'm telling you, the defense has been unbelievably superb. Look at that jumper right down the lane. Oh, he feels good. Oh, he feels good. <laughs> Look at him. They're going to be celebrating tonight here in Louisville. Well, we are in the midst of some week on ESPN. Monday Night Football, Seattle beating Minnesota. A blockbuster Tuesday with another dandy to come. Duke and Michigan State. Then Ohio State, number six, takes on North Carolina on Wednesday. Thursday, the Big Ten ACC Challenge will wrap up. And then Friday and Saturday, the FBS Conference Championships get underway. Well, this was a great idea. Who put this whole concept together? It's just great. Eliminates some cupcakes. I mean, some of the scores you see are just, you know, unbelievable. I love Hostess Cupcakes. But, man, that was Cupcake City in hey, a lot of games. Speaking of cupcakes, don't you have an anniversary coming up tomorrow? Wow, 40 years of ESPN. I can't believe it. Uh, David Halberstam did a story about me in the 40 years. And, wow, I, I, I pitched myself. I don't know where all the years have gone. I, I, I don't know. I have told Rick Bosich from Louisville earlier tonight. I said, I don't know where they've gone. But I know one thing. When it all comes to an end, and I'll know that feeling of pick up the phone and say it's over, man. And it's going to bring me to tears because... I've loved every bit of it, man. No time soon, partner. 80 I've years old, he's still going strong. Amazingly, 56 to 43, Louisville in command here. I really, uh, you know, just, uh, it's just such a feeling to make a living doing something I love. I wish everybody could do that in their life. Unfortunately, people can't. Well, not everybody can do what you do. Well, <laughs> Minute six to go in this one. I know my dad had to work in a factory pressing coats, and then he'd come home after he pressed those coats all day in a factory, and we'd eat dinner, and then go out and be a security guard at the mall. That was his life. And so many people have to live that kind of life. I've been so lucky and so blessed. I wonder, the first time you put on a headset and started broadcasting at ESPN, did you have any idea it would be this, that it would wind up being what it became? No, I know nothing about TV. Our producers will tell you, I still know nothing about TV. <laughs> but you know what? I've had so much fun. I, I thought I'd get back coaching in college. That's where I felt I belonged. I right. love being around young people. Sure. And Scotty Connor was so good to me in my early years. Laura with a miss there. He hasn't missed many tonight. You know, he told me one time, and I didn't know what he meant. He said, you know, Dick, don't think about coaching in college. He said, because you connect. And I didn't know, what do you mean by connect? And then one time he's with me at games, I'm signing autographs and pictures, and I take it, and he said, that's connecting. You're connecting with people. They're responding to you. He said, build on that. And, man, I'm so lucky I did. Oh, man, you got emotional, and I can't blame you. 40 yeah. years well, with the know, anniversary just hours away for you, and congratulations. Well, I know, because the day's going to come. I'm going to have to pick that phone physically and say it's over. I hope it's not for another. I told Dan Schumann, I said, Dan, Give me another 19 more years to go. I want to be here at 100 years old. I want to be your first guy well, to be at courtside. The Louisville faithful celebrating here at the KMC Yum Center. They have been behind them in force all night long. Over 21,000, nearly 22 in the building. Sound like Lionel Richie all night long. I saw Lionel Richie just recently. It's a little all night long here. It's been Louisville 
right out of the gate. Great defensive effort. They have not been superb offensively, but they've been great defensively. And they start Warren. Look at these number ones. Michigan State out there that game, lost the opener. Kentucky got shocked. They got shocked in their game. Duke lost theirs. Yeah, it's a good lesson for Louisville, but tonight holding up their end of it very, very nicely, a 57 to 43 lead with Kimball at the line. You know, it's really amazing when you look at those teams that got beat. When you look at Kentucky, they lost to Evansville. And you look at Duke, they lost to Stephen F. Austin. That kid made that shot, Bain, and man, it went wild for them to raise money on a go for fun. Yes. That's really great what they did for his family. He lost their church, lost their school, his dad. It went from two, I think it was 2,000 to over 150,000 right now. I think that's great to go fun. For that the is Bain tremendous. Well, Louisville about to give the ACC a victory tonight in a Big Ten ACC challenge. Michigan about to suffer their first loss. It's been a stunning beginning to the season. They jump from unranked to number four, but about to drop to seven and one. Chris Mack and the Cardinals about to go to 8-0. You know, Ryan McMahon certainly didn't shoot the ball well tonight, but he's more, as Chris told me, before he said he's more than a shooter man he works hard on defense for us he's got leadership skills he's passing the ball a lot better the shot's gonna go down they know he can shoot the ball he didn't shoot it well tonight but they definitely want him to shoot more because he's capable great defensive performance Louisville number one Mr. O'Brien and they certainly backed it up beating the red hot Wolverines tonight really did it with defense holding Michigan to just 40 Three points tonight. Worrell with the double-double. No question, he was the star. Duke and Michigan State is coming up next. And for Chris Button and a Hall of Famer, Dick Vitale and our entire crew, I'm Dave O'Brien. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. A raucous environment here in Louisville. Great to have you along. More to come. Kevin Connors coming your way in the studio. Louisville continues to roll as number one.